All right, welcome back to the Crypto ZX channel. If you're new, please consider subscribing. But now let's talk about none other than VeChain itself. We're going to be talking about what is happening with the price of VeChain and of course what we could be expecting as we do go further into this month of February. If you like VeChain updates, um, do let me know by commenting down below and smashing that like button. But now let's get right into it. So if we're looking at it on the daily time frame, we're seeing VeChain down about 2.3%, but majority of the market is down right now as well because Bitcoin has seen a little bit of a minor pullback. So uh, it is uh, to be expected that VeChain is also down. So if we're looking at VeChain's price right now, currently sitting at 2 0.8 cents and we're also down about 1.9 percent in btc compared with the market cap holding a very very strong above that two billion dollar mark and the 24 hour trading volume currently sitting at 30 million dollars so what exactly is next of course that's what we're going to be talking about before i get into it as always just a quick disclaimer anything on this channel is not financial advice always do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies so i'm going to start off with this because of course the reason as to why i included v chain in my poll yesterday was to kind of get an understanding if you know people still are interested and you know this poll doesn't kind of explain and give me that confirmation I already knew that but I just wanted to use this as um, you know the video uh, because this topic kind of revolves around this so of course if you know I did ask the community you guys and the question was you had $10,000 what coins are you buying and of course I did list VeChain in this poll and about 7% out of the 4,500 people did come out and vote uh, VeChain and of course that's not a high number as you can see you know we're seeing Solana um, you know having majority of the vote up you know, at 40%, Cardano at 20, ICP at 23%, and VeChain at about 7%. And, um, you know, it's not a high number, but there is still people that are interested in VeChain. And the people that are currently, now hear me out carefully, the people that are currently showing attention to VeChain, in my opinion, are early comers that see the bigger picture that not a lot of people see right now. Because, of course, there's a lot of distraction in the cryptocurrency space, which I'm sure everyone knows of. You know, there's tons of meme coins there's tons of other projects that are obviously gaining a lot of traction and usually more eyes are on those but the projects that are not moving in the moment uh, are the ones that kind of get overlooked but you know the people that understand what vchain is doing i'm sure if you are a viewer on my channel you know how much i believe in vchain vchain's vision and how i think it's undervalued considering what it's doing you know if you really deep dive into vchain and see what what they're solving you will be left speechless and then you would think to yourself wait hold on if there's so much things happening why is its native token not pumping and that's where the excitement comes into play um, because you know if you're looking at the overall theme the expansion uh, innovation it's literally going crazy and the price is not showing that but that is definitely happening so we're going to be talking about what exactly is next for the price so let's extend this resistance uh, which is a 3.367 cents mark I'm gonna extend this all the way here to make things easier for us so you can see I'm sure everyone knows at this point the significance of that resistance um, you know if you are a follower on my channel you know we spoke about this resistance pretty much since we broke below it and we finally broke above this resistance on December 20th we saw VeChain all the way up to almost 3.9 cents but since then we have been pretty much pulling back you know we're back below that massive level of support which of course now is playing as a level of resistance we did see the price of vchain try to break out of that resistance back on january 11th but we saw a rejection so again you know understand why this is such an important key level for the price of vchain right now what we're seeing happening with vchain is we're being supported by some key support levels uh, which you can see this for yourself no, but just a few hours ago we did see vchain sitting at about three cents so it is consolidating around this three cents mark quite uh, strongly so that is of course a nice thing to see but nonetheless you know the main target still remains above this resistance it's really really important for the price of vchain to be above that key resistance level Level because if it's able to close above here that's where I do see you know the price heading back up to levels like we have not seen such as the 4.425 cents and then of course the 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level at 6.24 cents so 
you know, around this time, um, when it was breaking out, when it broke out of this long consolidation phase, a lot of excitement were coming in. A lot of people were, uh, you know, kicking themselves for not picking up some VeChain. Well, guess what? That exact same opportunity below that key resistance level is there for the people that actually believe in VeChain's vision. Um, and, you know, that opportunity is here right now. Because, of course, as I've said, you know, once we broke out of that key resistance, you could pretty much see this for yourself. Uh, we we did bounce back and forth at that support line pretty much for you could say 10 to 15 days and then we broke below it uh, because of the overall market uh, but you know the opportunity is definitely there for the people that actually believe in the v-shaped vision um, and don't want to be picking it up above that key resistance level and speaking about that key resistance level uh, if you do bring out the measuring tool we are seeing a retracement of about 17.26 percent from that key resistance level so um, you know we last retested this key resistance back on the 11th of last month um you know if you want to see the breakout happening at that key resistance that's a move of about 20 percent from the current price um you know you want to be paying very close attention to btc for that you know if bitcoin is able to push back above the key resistance at forty six thousand dollars, i do see that v chain will be making its way back above that resistance quite easily and possibly pushing up to some new yearly highs you know, Still, VeChain is being slept on. As I've said, a lot of people are sleeping on VeChain right now because, of course, there's so many other projects that are being spoken about, uh, you know, that are pumping. So, of course, more people are attracted to those certain projects. But the people that actually understand VeChain's vision right now are the ones that truly, truly understand what VeChain is doing and the potential it has. But at the end of the day, all speculation. Uh, but I'm very optimistic on the price of VeChain for the year of 2024. I think it is going to shock a lot. Of people now, speaking about shocking a lot of people, um, you know, after we broke at this key resistance level uh, on uh, November 29th, we saw VeChain pump up 79.69 percent. So, this speaks for itself. So, anyone that's going to come out and say VeChain hasn't made any moves, you know, it has definitely done that, it definitely reacted to the overall market momentum. So, let's not get that mixed up. But, you know, what I want to hear from you guys right now is where you see the price of VeChain going at the end of 2024. Of course, you know, as far as its all time high goes, you know, let's give it a refresh live. Um, as far as its all time high goes, all time high is all the way up at. 27.7 cents but you know things do take time to get to those levels and um you know some people say uh certain projects never reach their all-time highs but i think vchain is one of the ones that will end up reaching its all-time highs but again that's my own personal opinion uh there is significant resistances on the way but i don't think fireworks start until we do actually get back into this blue zone which is the uh, 78.6 Fibonacci retracement level and in order for us to get to that level uh, you can pretty much see this for yourself we're still about 120 percent away for us to get to that key level so that's how I take a look at it but mainly as far as the VeChain token goes like I said the token is not doing justice as to what its overall project is doing right now but smart people already see that and those are the exact people that have vchain in their portfolios but again you always want to do your own due diligence and research when you are investing in cryptocurrencies um but let me know down below what you guys think love each and every one of you guys and if you want to see more vchain updates let me know in the comments down below see you tomorrow in crypto zx and peace out